We're Robin and Steve. In the last episode, we prepared to leave solid ground behind and some family that lived nearby. We found Rakali a lovely new owner named Russell. When we set off in Sirena, we waved goodbye to Russell and Rakali. We're in Fraser Island, Kagari, and here are some local crabs. We left off at South White Cliffs. So long as you expect to see dunes rather than cliffs, you'll love it. On our way to North White Cliffs slash dunes, we passed some pretty acrobatic fish. After this, the wind sprang up and we undertook an overboard rescue drill. It was nearly a disaster. This hat blew off, despite the snug chin strap, but we rescued it. It was good practice and better than having to deal with a man overboard or person overboard. These folks were taking an electric scooter tour, exploring the country of the Butchala people. Here we got to meet local yabbies and this busy mother and her baby birds. North White Cliffs is home to the popular Kingfisher Resort. Along with the wildlife, you can see relics corroding on the beach left over from the timber industry that harvested tall trees here from the mid-1800s until the 1930s. We kayaked back to Sirena through strong currents and prepared a feast of mullet, the mullet we'd been given earlier. After a calm night, we sailed further north. By now the waters were clear enough. We wanted to try our water maker. I'm not sure what even that is. After swapping out some filters, we were good to go. Here the excess salt water spills out the side. Meanwhile, Steve tested the fresh water. Not ready. After the water maker has run for about 10 minutes, we can put the fresh water into our water tanks. We made our way further up Fraser Island, Kagari. Unlike last time, it was calm enough to go ashore and explore. After a beautiful day with no people in sight, we needed rest. We set off the next morning at 4am. 
and soon were accompanied by dolphins. Not many and not for long, but it's always a treat. Winds were forecast to increase, so Steve put a reef in the sails. Here he's lowering the mainsail enough to hook on the reefing point, pulls the sail back up again, and then tightens up the foot of the sail using the reefing line. We didn't lose any speed, which is a good sign that it was a good time to reduce the sail area. Here's a fishing trawler, one of many anchored way out at sea with no land in sight until and hoy. we saw Lady Elliot Island once it was 8.5 nautical miles away. By now the sea was quite rolly. Lady Elliot Island is not a great shelter, but the wind and seas were supposed to die down, so we risked it. If the weather was too wrong, we would just have to turn around and go back. We made it. No sooner had we tied onto a mooring buoy than we saw a turtle. It certainly was rolly, but it was worth it. This spot is popular with the birds. Over 95 different types of birds stop here and poo here. In fact, the guano or poo was mined here from 1860 until 1970 for the fertilizer industry. And now it's protected. During the night, we heard a thumping noise. It wasn't just the mooring buoy as we'd expected, but the steering chain had snapped Without this, the helm wouldn't turn the rudder. And steering is kind of useful when you're sailing. And now a massive shout out to Sirena's previous owner. After a really boring and uncomfortable treasure hunt, Steve found a spare steering chain. I didn't film the repair. Steve was in a tiny hole and I was holding the emergency tiller to prevent Steve's fingers getting crushed as the boat moved in the swell. Contents of lockers had to be strewn out across the deck so that Steve could access the tricky space. It's a fiddly job and potentially dangerous in the swells. And all the while, crystal clear waters surrounded us and the sun rose. Anyway, he's amazing. He did fix it. And eventually, we could finally do what we came here to do. Go snorkeling. There was lots to see right next to the boat, a family of cuttlefish. And more turtles. And so much coral to explore. We never even went ashore. The reef had more than enough to offer. We'd winch the mooring buoy up enough so that it only smashed the hull sometimes. So we could just listen to the surf and the birds and the wind. Get your masks on, we're going in.
Join us next time for a Lady Elliot Island sandwich. Where Lady Elliot Island is the bread. We'll leave Lady Elliot Island for want of shelter and then come back again because once is not enough. Then we officially turn south, heading for home. Away from the beautiful tropics. But don't worry, we'll get cheered up because there'll be dolphins. Here are some. <laughs>